Hello everyone, this is ASMR. Today, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to edit outdoor portrait. Uh, this one is a little bit different from the other one. Here is my image, stock image. I'll give you these stock image download link in my video description. Don't forget to check it out and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay. In future, I will upload more amazing tutorial. Uh, I have a plan to upload another uh, apps of Adobe. Uh, so keep in touch. Okay, this one is today's photo. Today I'll edit this one. Okay, at first make a copy by pressing Ctrl J. And as usual, at first I will just correction, do correction the shadow and highlight. At first. Then I'll do color correction and then I'll give effect from the Google Nick collection. Okay, this one is our layer. I'll copy, make copy two layers. I'll give B and D. B for burn, D for dodge. Okay. The in B layer, just make this in skin mode, the blending mode, and go to the blending options. In this blending option, you'll get a slider. Okay, just slide this one and you'll get highlighted area. Make it zoom. Make it zoom, it will help you to just find out the highlighter shade area. Okay, press the alter button and just divide this slider and adjust with the there. Okay, here is the highlighted area. You'll get this one. Okay. and hit the ok button after that mask this one and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button after that turn on the D layer make it multiply and go to the blending options from the blending option in this case I'll slide this slider and find out the shadow area okay and press the alter button and divide this one adjust the shadow area with the background and skin and hit ok button mask this one after masking this one go to the image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit the ok button and select these two layer d and b and make it group just mask this group after masking this group just go to the apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok You'll get a little bit change. The before one was flat image. There was no shadow and highlighted area in a prominent way. You'll get the prominent way shadow and highlight after applying the dodge and burn option. This one is too much effective. Okay, for the portrait photography uh, or other photographies. Okay, this is good. Okay, uh, make group these two layer and make it merge by pressing Ctrl Shift Alter E. And go to the filter and camera raw filter from the camera raw filter i'll do basic color correction and shadow highlighting and vignetting and the toner cost and other things split toning all the things okay in the basic tab from the basic tab i will adjust the exposure at first i'll little bit down the exposure okay and highlight how much highlight I will just reduce. Press the alter button and you will get some dots in a skin. Screen you will get dots. When the skin is black, just leave it. After that, from shadow, press the alter button and shadow you will get some just like that. Plus 3. Okay, in the white press the alter button and just just slide the slider and you'll get some dots in a black screen after getting that just leave and same way blacks you, you can make it down and when you will get the dot in a white skin just leave it okay this one is the best combination of this basic area you can apply it on a lightroom also these panels are similar to the lightroom that's why i'm just applying this okay and 
clarity i'll give five percent variance five percent and saturation five percent okay then i'll go to the camera calibration Prim primary blue i'll work with the primary blue and primary green okay and saturation hue primary red you can work with it make it like that that's good then go to the hsl hue saturation and luminance and from the hue option on saturation options and luminance options if i just keep that down magenta color you'll get a nice thing purple color little bit down blue color little bit down green color little bit down the orange color little bit is increase saturation of orange little bit decrease and the hue of a green just make like that and sharpening just add some amount of sharpening luminance of noise reducer and color and again go to the basic options from the basic option just increase the exposure decrease the highlight a little bit okay actually how much highlight you will decrease here is a white trace you have to balance the color of this white trace for that you have to increase the shadow and from the hsl uh, you have to increase the orange color the luminance of orange color actually okay decrease the luminance of red just because lipstick are red okay and hit the ok button you'll get nice look let's see what was the previous this one is flat one and uh, the previous okay the present one okay after that go to the adjustment layer and use the color lookup options load the 3d okay horror blue color i will apply and decrease the opacity of the horror blue color that's good and just make it good make it march by pressing ctrl shift alter e okay after that i'll go to the crop menu and i'll crop it in a proper balance like that little bit and hit the ok button after cropping that i'll take a blank layer and i'll make it white or reset you can reset it by pressing this box overlapping box and just press here it, it will be inverse okay and the opacity of the brush is 100 flow 100 and the size of the brush is 300 or 306 that's good hardness zero percent okay then just press once after press this one press ctrl t for just transform this size of the brush you can adjust this one like that and hit the ok button after adjust this one you can make like that okay that means the light is coming from this area that's good and just make it group make it merge by pressing ctrl shift ctrl here and go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i'll go to the split toning and add some little bit uh, cool color the actually this this blue color and cyan actually and saturation a little bit and hue a little bit like that the combination of the cool color and the warm color a little bit increase this one after that go to the vignette or effects option vignetting a little bit vignetting and that's good and hit the ok button okay what was the previous one this one is our previous and present this one okay uh, and after that go to the filter and cam nick collection color effects pro from the nick collection color fix pro i will apply another effect in this photo uh, which will make more attractive to your photo okay it's wedding photography you know that this type of wedding photography uh, most of the people just 
wanted to know how to edit the wedding photography uh, in a photoshop easy way that's why i'm just making this tutorial uh, okay i'm using the cross processing filters and here are lots of another filters you can choose from here okay that's good you can do experiment with that filters there are nice and amazing filters in this palette and I usually use the filters which is like that this one you can use this one that's good that's cool actually okay and hit the ok button after hit the ok button it will take time to save your image which is uh, applied in uh, effect okay that's good let's see what was the previous this one was our previous image after you hit this one you will get this one this one is obviously nice for the color or other things okay and then go to the adjustment layer again and go to the curves from the curve just press here for the anchor point and just you can a little bit up and from the green just press here and you can make it a little bit down a little bit one point and from the green just place the anchor point here and you can make it up a little bit that's good previous one press it one okay after go to the just adjustment layer and again color look up and here is the foggy nights and reduce the opacity and drag this color look up above the okay the canvas layer that's good you get this amazing look which one this one is our previous one and now present we are getting this image okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please feel free to do comment in my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend it will help me out to make another amazing tutorial for you okay i am asmr if signing out and bye bye